up guys, it is LBC Tech Therapy here and today I've been very very fortunate to be sponsored by a company from China which has a name that I can't seem to pronounce. It's Jiuhuf. Jiuhuf. But either way, thank you very much. I can't pronounce your company name but you got some great headphones, I can show you that. Now the headphones inside this box looks like this and they actually look pretty decent. They got this gray black finish, very very um, you know normal looking headphones. They doesn't look expensive like that, but they actually sound very good. Now starting off with the design of the Jiuhuf headphones, you'll get um, some very very decent and very soft ear cups. The foam in here is just like the uh, WH1000MX2s, which are very very you know, very comfortable to wear. And these is also very comfortable to wear. They doesn't hurt or tear your ears to pieces or rip them apart. They just, you know, they sit there, they are lightweight. And then, of course, the music is on point. Now they have a foldable design. And one thing that I don't like about these headphones is that they have a hinge. It's a loose hinge. It just, you know, look at, look at this. That's just not me. And that just doesn't feel like quality headphones like the Sony does. And then they also have a bit of flex, which is good. They are very durable. They, they feel durable, but they are only $45 headphones or 30 pounds. So you cannot expect the you know, superior quality. On the right ear cup, you have the, of course, the on and off button to turn it on and off the volume up and down and then you also have an auxiliary input if you like to do that or you have the micro USB charging input and these headphones can play up to 20 hours if you charge them to its fullest which, which takes around 3 hours but you can expect around 17-18 hours of playtime that's what I had and the headphones comes with Bluetooth 4.1 so it's not near 4.2 or 4.5 but they will last you up to 33 feet of distance of reach to your phone and talking about music these headphones actually does a very decent job for $45 you get headphones that has a decent bass it sounds great but it distorts sometimes if you crank it all the way up or you know 80% or around that point you will hear some distortion and you know it just doesn't sound amazing but if you're searching for a pair of headphones that works great for you know listening to audiobooks or you know just plugging up to your television and talking about the highs mids and lows these headphones also does a very great job these headphones is built for people that don't want the you know the superior quality of you know a bit more expensive headphones like like the Sony's or the Bose QC35 2 they also cost a bit more than $45 so if you're just searching for a pair of headphones that just sounds you know decent and, and you don't you know worry too much about the sound quality these headphones is a pretty good purchase if you ask me Jiuhufu <laughs> did a really great job with these headphones they feel solid of course a little bit cheap with all this plastic and Chinese headphones, this is what you get, it does a very decent job and well that's all you need to know. But I hope you enjoyed my little quick review of these Jifufu headphones. I can't pronounce it, if you can pronounce it, well lucky you. Nah just kidding. I hope you enjoyed my video of these headphones and again another big thanks to Jifufu for sponsoring these headphones. And a big thank you for all of my supporters out there. 1600 subscribers right now is amazing. And if you like my content here on the channel, of course you should consider subscribing because I will be putting out a bit more videos here in the near future. But I'll be seeing you in my next video. Peace up, 8 Town.